In our first example with Thorn Oaken Shield, we showed you how to partially refund a security deposit. Now, in this part of the video, we're going to show you how to successfully fully refund the security deposit. In most cases, the full refund is going to happen in the move out flow. In the event that you're refunding the full security deposit before a move out, you'll follow the same steps as we showed in the first part of this video. However, if you're going to refund the deposit in a normal move out situation, you're going to do the following. We're going to select the task on the right hand side, move out tenants. Set the move out date. In this case, we'll say it's in the future. First, save. We'll then go down to our charges and credits. In this case, we'll say Thorn didn't do any damage to the unit, so he'll get his full refund. So now we scroll down. Here for you, if you have a to bank to cash setup you'll see a transfer option whether it be the first option with a little circle will say refund with a bill and receipt that will create a check or a bill that you will have to then print and then physically take to the bank and deposit and then you'll have to deposit the receipt or you can select the bottom option which will say transfer security deposit funds with bank transfer this will be a more efficient option for you if you physically move the cash via ACH between your banks. But in this case, if you have the one cash, one bank setup, there's going to be no need to transfer the security deposit. So we can go ahead and then say post accounting. Now, unlike our previous part of this video where we showed you how to partially refund a security deposit, we do not have to manually post all the charges and credits like we did the last time. In the move out flow, the system will post it for you as soon as you hit post accounting. Now all that's left is to simply refund Thor and Oak and Shield his full deposit for move out. Here we can say pay bill now. And just like our other portion of this video, if you want to pay them via check that you have to print, you can say pay by check now. Or if you've paid it via Venmo, ACH, or other form, payment it'll say other payment and select your payment date when it was paid now since thorn oak and shield has been paid in normal move outs as well once everything has been posted for the move out accounting you can download a disposition letter as we showed in our previous videos and then we can hit finish move out to finalize this. Now, since we finalized the move out, the unit's going to show as available to rent be rented as of August 2nd, 2024. And you can begin marketing campaigns for this unit. This has been how to partially and fully refund security deposits in that folio. Thank you for watching APM Academy brought to you by APM Help. If you have questions on the content, you can find us at apmhelp.com or reach us at info at apmhelp.com. Like, share, and subscribe for more.